Yo! What's up, everybody? Uh, this is RJ, and I'm back with another episode of the newly named, I just came up with the name 20 seconds ago, uh, RJ's Medical Minutes. Uh, that's what it's going to be called, because uh, I'm talking about medicine, and minutes is another word for the notes taken during a meeting. Um, so, yeah, I take notes on medicine, medical minutes. That's what I'm calling it. And that's it. Urge's Medical Minutes. Yay! Finally thought of a name two months later. Anyways, on today's episode of Urge's Medical Minutes, we got uh, mac and cheese from the grower Strain. Uh, Strain's Mac and Cheese. It's an indica leaning hybrid. Uh, this is the container. And then this is the back. This is the back. But yeah, uh, strain. I really like strain as a grower. I don't. I don't think I've had anything by them that I was like upset with. Um, Citrus City OG was good. Star Pupil was good. The Seven Stars. Uh, nope. Nope. That was Matri. Sorry. Um, this we'll get into. Um, so yeah, I haven't had anything by them that I didn't like. Uh, but yeah, the genetics are the Mac and Alien Cheese. Uh, it's, it's a hybrid of those two. And the Mac is also, uh, made by crossing Alien Cookies with Starfighter and Colombian. And Alien Cheese is made by crossing Alien Rift and Blue Cheese. So that's all the genetics there. I could keep going, and but we'd probably be here for 20 minutes just talking about all the different strains in each of these strains. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Like an ancestry DNA test. Um, the smell uh, pre-grind, it was sweet, kind of earthy. Uh, and then post-grind, it was sweet, skunky, kind of cheesy aftertone with a little bit of a cheesy aftertone. So a little bit of a cheese and skunk came through uh, after the grind. After the grind. Sounds sexual. <laughs> uh, top cannabinoids. Uh, the THCA is at 20.007. The THCV is at 0.556%. The CBG is at 0.187%. And the THC is at 0.183%. And uh, THCA is the precursor to THC. Uh, so there's some sort of mathematical equation to figure it out. I don't really want to do math. So what I usually do is I'll just put those two together. It's roughly over 20%. And I'll just take off a percent or two. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, so it's roughly around like 18 19%. Somewhere around there. Uh, THCV, 0.556%, uh, that's not too shabby for a flower. Um, THCV is good for, like, uh, seizures and stuff like that. And uh, CBG is the precursor to all of these other cannabinoids and terpenes that we'll get into. And then the top uh, terpenes are terpinaline, 1.263%, that's pretty high. b caryophylline 0.413%. B-Mercine, 0.347%, and Limonene, 0.244%. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, where the sweet and skunky and earthy comes from. Terpinaline is sweet and earthy. Uh, B-Caryophylline is found in pepper. B-Mercine is found in, um, like, mangoes, and it's also, like, an earthy, musky smell. And limonene, as the name suggests, is like a citrusy smell. You know, so you put those all together and you get the smells uh, that I described earlier. The texture. Uh, they were nice-sized nuggies, a light dark green. Uh, they were looking frosty AF, as the kids say. Uh, they were with uh, copper-colored hairs. They were dense, tight, and sticky, kind of how I like my women. Dudes. I went too far. Feel it bad. The taste, the taste was a uh, smooth, savory, smoky, and sweet. A nice tasting flower, right here. Uh, it even calms my taste buds, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's just very, just very ah, 
you know, like, ah. And uh, the effects for me personally, uh, this is some soul flower right here. Uh, pun on soul food, of course. Uh, comforting like a warm blanket or coming into a warm house on a cold day and the shivers subside. That kind of comfort. Happy, chillin' vibes, pretty balanced, but a smidge indie leaning, a smidge indica leaning, I would say. More chill than, like, get up and go, but you totally could, like, go for a nice walk or something. Uh, just like when I'm eating a fat bowl of homemade mac and cheese with the crumbs on top, it hits my soul proper. I'm Randy Martian now. If you don't know what that means, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but Randy Martian uh, is great. I'll tell you what it means. Uh, Randy Martian, like, so there's an episode of South Park. Randy Marsh is the father of Stan. Uh, and Randy tries to become, like, one of those, like, top chefs or whatever. And he does it for Stan's school, um, for, like, the school lunch. You know what I mean? Uh, and, like, the whole episode, he's just, like, freaking out over food. And, like, there's parts where, like, he literally, like, damn near jerks off over like the food cooking shows so that's what i mean by randy martian when you're just like craving something and it's almost like ah, uh, you just can't wait to dive in like when you're cooking a great meal and you're just like yo i can't wait for this shit to be done so i can just Brr! you know what i mean like that that's randy martian you know what i'm saying so that that's randy martian um, and you, if you watch the South Park episode I'm talking about, you would understand it a lot better. Um, but yeah, so that's my review on Mac and Cheese from Strain. Um, I really like this flower a lot. Uh, it's just very chill and comforting. I hope you enjoyed this review. Until next time, folks, stay safe out there. Peace.